What up fishing friends, it's Mr. Bass and today I am going to do a little comparison video of the Hendrix box from Hendrix Fishing Premium Lures and the Dark Horse Tackle All Star box. This is January 2022. These are both the boxes that I got for the month of January and I'm going to compare them side by side. Now the reason I think these are good boxes to compare with each other is they kind of have the same marketing strategy. They're looking for small companies, made in America, custom, handcrafted bait makers. Could be soft plastics, could be hard baits, could be swim baits, um, custom paint colors, those kind of things. So um, small batches, small quantities small little companies. Who doesn't like supporting small companies? We all like that. We also all love Made in America. So the business model for these two types of boxes really appeals to me and it probably appeals to you too if you're an American fisherman. All right, but there are some differences and I want to compare them because they're both kind of getting a lot of hype. There's probably some other custom boxes out there um, there was one called Salt Creek Tackle or something that I used to get for a while. I really enjoyed it, but it died. Um, don't know if there's any others that are really seriously competing with these two right now. Uh, so I'm just going to show uh, the differences between these two boxes here. So let's start with the more expensive box. This is the Hendrix box. And um, this box costs you $39.99 per month if you subscribe. If you don't subscribe and you just want to buy an individual box, it costs you a few bucks more. The Dark Horse Tackle box, on the other hand, is $25, but you have to pay shipping. And I think it's $5 shipping. That's what I pay. So I pay $30 bucks for this box and then $40 bucks for this box. $10 difference. It's $39.99, like I said, when you subscribe, and the box retail value is guaranteed over 50 bucks. And some boxes have reached a retail value of over 70. So pay 40 bucks, you get at least 50 bucks worth of custom made lures. Okay, let me clarify something on the price. I went and looked. Uh, it's 25 bucks if you just buy it month to month. If you go through a subscription, the price starts to go down. Looks like the cheapest subscription you can get is for 12 months, a solid year, 270 bucks for 12 months, and that's going to get you uh, 2250 a box, plus the shipping. Keep that in mind. You pay shipping on this box. Small batches, small companies, custom handmade lures, hand poured, hand painted, these kind of things. That's what I think when I think about this. So. If I open the box and I don't see something that I would define as custom made, then that kind of bugs me a little bit. Um, and I think you're going to see that on some of this, and that's why I want to bring that up. So let's go with Hendrix first. In the Hendrix box this month, they're saying you get a total retail value of almost 65 bucks. $63.71. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. What's the Dark Horse All Star box got in this month? It's got one, two, three, four, five items. Five items in this box. Okay? And the retail value is kind of all over the place on this, so I will try to show you the retail value when I get to the end. The reason I don't I can't use the values that they have in here as they're just totally wildly off base and, and I'll show you a couple of that as well. Alright, first up the Hendrix box has some custom made swim baits by a company called Game On Baits. I've never heard of these guys. There's only two of them and uh, they're six inches hand poured soft swim baits. Uh, they say these things are worth 12 bucks because they're a custom made bait. Six dollars each. To me, <laughs> uh, I, I, 
if they're charging six bucks each, I don't think anybody would buy them. So I think they need to rethink the price on this thing. It is a nice looking paddle tail swim bait. Nice colors. It's got a lot of purple and flake. It's got a nice hook slot. It's got this gap on the top where you can expose the point of your hook. Um, it just looks very, very nice. A very nice swim bait for sure. It feels sturdy. Um, it has nice big eyes. Doesn't have any scent in it, but uh, not bad. Um, and you know, it's always fun to get a swim bait of any kind. Uh, swim baits are just killers. And that's one of the reasons I like these kind of boxes is I would never try this company. Now I got a couple of their baits and get to try it and see see what happens there. I've, I'm very familiar with Stump Thumper baits. I've seen them in other custom made boxes. I see them on Instagram all the time. This guy has a, a, a really wide range of products and his colors are really cool. This is a drop shot bait, the 3.6 inch money shot. 10 pack. Dang, that's nice to have 10 full lures. And the color's called Pearls. Really like this color. It's a flatworm, basically. Very good bait. Okay, here's another one uh, that uh, I've seen quite a bit of lately is this Third Eye. This is their Nico Craw. And of course, this is all out of the Hendrix box as well. And I need to take this Nico Craw out because it's really hard to see it through the package. But I think this is a unique bait. Um, and I don't have any problem with all three of these products so far. To me, they do look like custom made baits. Now, one of my subscribers was saying on the live stream, I don't think you understand what custom made means. I think I do know what custom made means. Um, if, in fact, I even looked it up online, and custom made really means made to order. You come into a specific shop, you tell him or her specifically, this is the kind of product I want, this is the size I want, this is the color I want, and then they make it for you based on that. Well, you can't do that when you're subscribing to a box. Uh, so, in my mind, the next best thing is you have a small company that makes a handful of their very specific products that you can't buy from other companies. Like this little crawdad. You can buy plenty of crawdads from every soft plastic company out there. Zoom, Strike King, uh, Big Bite Baits, you name it. But can you buy this specific craw? I don't think so. This is a very unique looking bait. So I, I consider this to be custom made, or I would, I would say it falls into that category. And it is scented with bass syrup. So that's a six pack, three and a half inches, and uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so that's the soft plastics in the Hendrix box. Now I'm going to show you the soft plastics that came in the dark horse box, and then we'll go to the hard baits. <laughs> All right. So this is where I have my first bit of heartburn with dark horse tackle <laughs> this is a company called bitters they're out of Florida and I do not consider these guys custom bait manufacturers in fact I'm very familiar with these because my buddy Steve has had a business relationship with bitters he buys tons of products from bitters and their business model pretty much is they go out and look at all the soft plastic manufacturers out there and they go get molds and copy those baits and then sell them for a cheaper price. So good news is if you really like a certain bait, for example, like a Cinco and you don't want to pay a ton of money, you can get this for $3.49 a bag and there's like one, two, there's eight in the pack. Or you can get two bags for six bucks. So Bitters is a, they're not a custom 
manufacturer. They're a mass produce. They they mass produce copied baits is what they do. And uh, it's not that their baits are bad. They're fine. But when I'm thinking about buying an exclusive custom made uh, product from from Dark Horse Tackle, bitters is a disappointment to me, quite frankly. The other thing that's kind of shocking is the price is printed right on the label here, right? Kind of hard to fake that. They say in their flyer here that the bitters products are $11.89 each. Now that is with shipping. Assuming if you went and went on Bitter's website, you bought one pack and had this one pack shipped to you, it would cost $11.89. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. You're not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And it says right on here, this is a $3.49 product. And really, since you gave me two products, it's three bucks each. It's $6. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So first is a green pumpkin stick bait. They call it the Salty Sling. And the next is uh, what they call the Switchblade. This is a five pack of beaver style baits. This is black and blue. They call it black blue tip. So this is the only soft plastics you get out of Dark Horse Tackle this month. To me, that's a failure. And it's not that the, again, reemphasize, not necessarily that the product's bad, it's that in my mind, it doesn't fit the bill of small batch custom made tackle. You could say, well, he is a small company and he makes the, he pours these right in Florida. So it's American made, it checks the boxes. But to me, I don't buy that. All right, now let's go to hard baits. <laughs> we'll start with Dark Horse Tackle on this thing. Dark Horse Tackle has a custom made square bill by Robusto Baits. This is uh, just like a Strike King KVD 1.5 in size and shape. And uh, hey, this is custom. It's custom painted. You're not going to find this on the Strike King website, right? You're not going to find this at uh, Bass Pro Shops. So this clearly checks the boxes in my mind of being a custom made lure. And of course, these square bills are great. I'm sure it's going to catch fish. Um, this particular pattern isn't one that really just wows me, but who cares? It's custom made. That's what I paid for is a custom made product. That's all the hard baits in Dark Horse Tackle. There's no other hard baits. There are three hard baits in the Heritage box. And what do you know? Same company, Robusto, just in a different box. And this is the Robusto uh, Vision 110 size jerk bait. It's got three hooks on it. Retail value, they say $12.99. Uh, I like I like the color. You know, it's got a little purple on the back here. It's got some nice color accents around the eyes and on the gill plates. Then it it's got this nice crosshatch scale pattern on it. It's got a little accent on the tail and underneath, and then it transitions to more of a shad color, and then. There's a little color on the belly. Um, it's fairly loud. <laughs> the only thing I would say that kind of I'm disappointed with is to me, these hooks don't look very good. But I don't know, maybe looks are deceiving. Maybe they are good quality hooks. But other than that, it looks like a decent, decent bait to me. And I didn't really even look at the hooks on the square bill that was in the dark horse box. Again, about the same. It looks like similar, similar type, cheaper hooks. <coughs> All right, so jerk bait, nice bait to get in the winter time. Then there's two baits from Stone Man Lures. Pete Stone Man, he makes some great stuff. His products are very, very nice. His paint patterns are unique. 
and uh, you're not going to be disappointed with Stone Man Lures. I am familiar with him and his company, and uh, I definitely consider him to be a custom lure maker. So we've got this lipless crankbait. Check that thing out. I mean, dude, is that cool or what? This is called Dragon Perch. It's purple. And then, you know, he's got a little perch pattern going on there. Look at those dragon eyes. I mean, dude, very cool. I think it's a great product. Might even be able to see the eye a little better this direction. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. Great hooks. Look at the hooks on there. These are fishable hooks right out of the package. You don't even need to upgrade your hooks. Very nice lipless crankbait. And then he's got a 2.75 inch square bill. Retail value $9.99. Get the package open. This color is called Craw Amel Latte. <laughs> Pretty cool looking. Definitely not a color you're going to see every day. And this it looks very similar to like a mega bass shaped square bill. It's got more of a knocker in this one. And again, it has really nice, big, beefy EWG style hooks. And you know, man, his paint, his paint, it's great, his paint work. So, to me, a very, very nice box. Um, the uh, <coughs> the Hendrix box, very nice. Okay, now let's go back and see what's left in the Dark Horse box. There are a couple of things left. <coughs> there is a custom-made jig by Thrashco. It's the quarter ounce finesse flipping jig, and this checks the box for me too. This is a custom-made small company. Uh, hand tied skirt, nice components, nice, very nice little jig, and I love it. I got no problem with this one either. I think that's very nice to see in the box. It's a very, it's got a very nice high quality hook. It's got a nice bait keeper on it, and you can kind of see the copper colored wire that the skirt is hand tied. Very nice. Feels kind of like a living rubber skirt and it's got some kind of flashy flashy strands in there as well. Let's see, what's he call this color? See if he says on here. Chili Craw. Chili Craw. Very nice little jig from Thrash Co. All right, <clears throat> nice. Okay, then there's just a couple of what I would call odd things. And the reason I would say odd is because I don't consider these to be products that should be in a, again, custom, handmade, handcrafted box. Now, if you're just trying to add some extra value, maybe you don't have enough money in the box, you know, to put, put in another custom-made bait, so you, you put some of this stuff in, I guess that's okay. Bobber stops, to me, there's no value in bobber stops. I mean, the fact that there are three, no, four packages, six each, so there's 24 bobber stops is nice. I mean, at least they don't shortchange you on the quantity of bobber stops, but bobber stops to me is not something I look for in a box. And the same goes for any kind of terminal tackle. You got a couple of wobble heads from Z Bait Company. Their wobble heads are called the Super Swing. These are 3 8 ounce with 5 aught Gamagatsu hooks, so you can tell they're quality components. It's a great product, a quality product. I'm not dissing that at all. It just doesn't, to me, seem like this is what I'd call a custom made product. So the problem is, with the Dark Horse box in my mind, <coughs> is you've got 
these two items that don't don't qualify in my mind as custom these two bitter soft plastics also don't qualify as custom so all you've got left is your robusto square bill and your thrash code jig great products but for my money when I spend 30 bucks for this box I feel like I got two products in this box this month to me not very happy with that in fact I think this might be my last uh, my last dark horse box we will see <clears throat> the Hendrix on the other hand I think was a great value I'm very happy with it there was only one thing that I even slightly questioned but when you look at the fact that you get two custom painted stone man lures you get a custom painted jerk bait from Robusto. You get the Nico Cross, the Stump Thumper baits, and kind of almost as a bonus, two big six inch swim baits, all custom made. So, no matter how you look at this, you get this for $39.99, you get this for $30 what's worth it now you may say well I only got it I can only spend 30 if you can only spend 30 but if you could spend 10 more $63 worth of stuff this month this nowhere even near that I'll put on the screen what this thing really ends up being worth but it, the value but it's it's not anywhere near that I'm not trying to badmouth dark horse tackle I've really been pulling for these guys I've been trying to to give them a, you know as positive a spin as I can when I'm when I'm opening these boxes but I gotta be straight up if you're gonna give me small batch custom made made in the USA supposed to be kind of special craft baits that's what I would like to get for my money uh, speaking of Dark Horse Tackle they have a new amazing cool box that's gonna be coming out supposed to be like $75, have $100 worth of swim baits and hard baits. It's going to be a hard bait only box. That might be interesting. I might try that. Don't know yet. Anyway, that's that. I hope this was helpful and informative. If so, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Share the video with your friends, neighbors, relatives, and enemies. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel. And please tune into my live streams. Love to see you there as well. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!